Hi everybody, we're going to do a quick review of the RS flip-flop in both the NOR gate and the NAND gate. So the RS flip-flop is a building block of flip-flops. You can make them out of NOR gates or you can make them out of NAND gates. If it's made out of a NOR gate, then the jingle that we remember is any high gives a low. For example, if I have a high there and a low there, we would have a high inside because it's an OR gate, and then our output would be a low. So either one of those highs gives us a low. We call this an active high. And because of that, we can't have both R and S as highs. That's called the pro prohibited state. Right. And that flip-flop would not work in the way that we would expect it to. So I could start this with a with both lows, or I could start it with one high and one low. Now the purpose of S is to set Q to high, whether we have an AND or a NOR gate flip-flop. And I'm gonna I'm going to show you that. So in this case, I'm gonna uh, have start out with S equaling one or high and r equals zero. So any high gives us a low. Notice that q bar, or not, not q, is up here. So that s goes high. So we have any, any high gives us a low. There's a high inside there, a low upside. q bar, or not q, is low. Takes low down to here. Um, we had s as high and r as a low. So just as a way to get started, uh, we're going to have that these two opposite. Otherwise, it's going to either be in a prohibited state or a memory state. So when S starts out as high, R starts out as a low. This low comes back here. We have two lows. We end up with a high, and Q is a high. The next stage would be because we can't have them both as highs, our next stage would be to take S and turn it into a low. Now this is called a memory state when S and R are both low. And what happens is we had a low coming out of here. So we had a high coming out of here. Now any high gives us a low. So that would be high inside there, low outside. Not Q is still low. Um, that low goes down here, and we have two lows, low inside, high outside, Q is still high. So there's no change when we're in that memory state when S equals zero and R equals zero for the NOR gate. And the next step then would be to change R, make R active high, and when we do that, Q is going to go to zero. And so any high gives us a low, so a high in here make this low, that low goes back up there. That was a low, both those lows are low inside, gives us a high outside. You notice that not Q goes high and Q goes low. And so that's called the memory, this middle one is called the memory state. And um, that's when R equals zero and S equals zero and we'll be in memory state. And we can start the cycle all over again when set goes high. Q will equal high and the circle starts up. And remember, we cannot have R and S as both high because this is active high in the NOR gate and that's a prohibited state. Now for this next flip flop, what I'm going to do is use NAND gates. And if we look at this NAND, the little jingle we remember is any low gives a high. So if I have one low on there and one high, we'd have a, uh, a low inside and then a high out here. Any low gives a high, call that active low, which means we can't have both R and S low at the same time. That would be the prohibited state. So I can start S with a low, and that would mean R would have to not be a low or it would be a prohibited state so we're going to put r as a high 
Any low gives us a high. Notice that in this case, Q is on the top of this gate, whereas with the NOR gates, Q was down here and Q bar was up here. That's a difference. So at, when S is low, we end up with a low inside here. Any low gives us a high. Q goes high, so it's in the set position. That high comes down here. We have two highs. Gives a high inside, but a low out, and not Q is is low. Now the uh, to go to memory state for a NAND gate, both S and R would be in a high condition, and there would be no change to Q. So in this case. We went from a low here to a high. And we had a low coming back. So notice that we had these guys. We had a low coming back. Any low gives us a high. So Q stays the same. And we end up with two highs down here. And that still gives us not Q as a low. So that's in memory state when S equals 1 and R equals 1. And down here, then we're going to reset it. And what happens is now we can change R to low, S would stay as high, and any low gives us a high, and Q bar would go to high, and this high and that high would give us a low, and Q would be low. So that again, um, when R equals 1 and S equal 1, we will be in a memory state, um, and to start over, S up here would go um, S down here, we go back to low and we would be starting the cycle back over. We can never have R and S as low because this is an active low and we would be in the prohibited state. One last page here. So, just a summary of the two types of flip flops we had the NOR gates and the NAND gates building these separate flip flops. With the NOR gate, it is an active high, so any high gives a low. And when set goes to one, Q will go to one or high. So when set is high, Q is high. The prohibited state, because these are highs, we can't have R and S as both highs. The frozen or memory state is both of them low. That would mean that it did not change from the previous state, Q would not change. And we do call this an active high. So an easy way to, to work through it is to start with set as high and Q will be high. And the, then we know that R cannot be high um, because that would be in the prohibited state. The NAND gate, they're active lows. The jingle is any low gives us a high, which means that when set is low, Q will be high, and the prohibited state is when R and S are both low, and the memory state is when R and S both equal one. It's an active low, so we're going to start with a with set as being a low and when set is low um, any low gives us a high that makes q out here a high and you just want to clean that up and make sure that you're clear so the purpose of set in both of these is to make q go high for the nor gate when set is a high, Q will go high. For NAND gate, when set is low, Q will go high. Thank you very much for watching. Hope that was helpful.